Surprise! Oh, what's this? I made dinner for us. We're, I'm not really good at cooking, but fried rice seemed doable. Wow. I can't believe you did something for me. Thank you, Della. Can't wait to dig in. Oh no, you can tell how disastrous my cooking is just by looking at it. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. I can't wait to dig in. You good? Yes, this is absolutely delicious. In fact, the best fried rice I've ever had, hands down. You know, if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. No, no, it would be ridiculous to turn down such a nice gesture. Dude, you're literally picking out the cilantro. Look, I know you're trying to be nice, but this is so extra. You can just be honest with me. Sorry, I just thought, well, because Kit and Milo are together now, I should set a good example for them, be a good role model. And... Wait, what? Kit and Milo? Together? I don't follow. Kit didn't tell you? They got matched on matching day just like us. Huh? Uh, Kit hates Milo. Like, arch nemesis level. You spilled like 10 drinks on Kit in the past year alone. Yeah, that is so Milo. He's such a klutz. But I thought the first time they met was on matching day. <laughs> There's no way they're soulmates. Soul enemies is more like it. I... I, I can't see Kit with Milo. Hmm. Are you sure? Like, I don't know Kit very well, but just think about it. They met because of a misunderstanding and then realized... Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Kit puts up a whole arrogant front, but he's actually a big softy. And this whole enemies to lovers thing they have? I dig it. You know what this means, right? I cannot allow such a perfect couple to go wrong. It is against my duties as a wingman. We need a name for this. Operation Mitt? Kilo? Operation Mitt has a nice ring to it. We need to write this down. <laughs>
are you even trying so hard? Wow. That's weird. I thought you were the one super gung-ho about getting them together. Yeah, but it seems like Kit really hates Milo. And to be honest, I can't even blame him. He's been spilled on like what, five times now? That's true. Kit carries an umbrella around everywhere now. But even though he might act all high and mighty, he'll be there for you when you really need him. He just needs someone to ground him. Yeah, that's nice. And yeah, I, I get what you mean. I mean, I'm like Kit in a lot of ways. I freak out over every little thing. But uh, Milo, he keeps me in check. He reminds me to chill out sometimes. He's not bothered by anything. He's kind of like you. You're always so relaxed. I'm just the rougher dude. This Operation Mid thing is the most work I've done in a while. But this kind of stuff is like second nature to you. And I think that makes you pretty cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Th thank you. I mean, I never expected that from you, but... I thought this whole time I was just this bumbling buffoon. <laughs> bumbling buffoon? <laughs> Forget about it. Let's let's just get back to work. Um, I am full of energy after your pep talk. Excuse me? I gave no such thing. Okay, sure, sure. You can tell yourself that. Ah! What the? Seven times the charm. We're gonna bring our A game this Saturday. No room for errors. You know, I think we make a great team. Meet my parents. Sorry? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, we make a great team. And I think it's finally time for my parents to see that. I mean, it doesn't have to be a huge thing. I just want them to see that I finally found my soulmate. So, you want me to meet your parents just to prove to them that you're not single? Yes. I thought you were over this superficial stuff. Damn it. <laughs> Jules, why can't you let this go? Look, I know you don't care about soulmates or love or whatever but you don't know how much this means to my family it ever since matching day they've been asking for updates our wechat group is just filled with friday date night photos and cozy night in posts it, you know, it, it's just too much pressure so you don't have to be like them honestly they're the anomaly Neither of my parents ever found their soulmates. No, I, I'm the weird one here, don't you see? I'm the black sheep. Even our pets have soulmates. This is supposed to be easy. How is finding the person you're supposed to spend the rest of your life with easy? Jules, get out of your head. Just do what you want to do. All I want is for you to meet them. Can't you, can't you do that? I, can't you just try for me this one time? What do you mean, try this one time? I live with you, I cook for you, we've literally been trying to get Milo and Kit together every day. How is that not trying? Well, maybe you're not trying hard enough. I mean, it's been three whole months and you haven't even planned a single date. All you cook is Fried rice with cilantro, which is worse than what literally anyone else can do. We've been trying to get Kit and Milo together, but what about us? You, you haven't even said thanks to me even once for everything that I've done. Okay, fine. Fuck you. Thank you for dragging me to dates. Thank you for forcing me to move in with you. Thank you for literally being the most annoying, frustrating part of my life. And you think I don't try hard enough? I never even wanted to be here. I just stuck it out because of you and your desperate need to have a soulmate. I see, I see. So, 
I'm just a fucking cherry case to you. Is that it? This whole thing means jack shit to you. Yeah. Wow. We finally agree on something. I just thought we were... You know what? Forget it. I won't force you to live with me any longer.